Got it all put together now. It took Patty and I about 45 minutes to do this. That's a really well-made machine as far as that goes. I like the locking wheels on it. Helped quite a bit with the way that we put it together. It's time to wheel it back onto the patio and fire this big boy up. This is what it looks like when it gets here. Let's open it up see what we got. It's too heavy for Patty and I to try and pick it up out of the box. The manifest says it's a 199 pounds, but that's on the pallet. I find it's easier for these big boys like this just to cut the box down like this and then when you go to put it together you can just roll it on its side or its back without scratching it up and attach the legs. This is what it looks like when you get it unwrapped. Very well made and very big. All the parts and accessories are packaged very well on the inside of it. Check it out. Open the parts box up and you see all your parts inside, your nuts and your bolts and your legs, and an instruction manual. All nicely packed. Everything about this thing spells tank. Look at those legs. Those are heavy duty. You'll never have to worry about bending those. Heavy gauge stainless steel for the fire pot. This thing is solid. The leg bolts are half inch bolts. Like I said, stout. This thing is a tank. I found it easiest to stand it on end, put the leg through and tighten the bolts up that way and then flip it to the other end and do it again. Made it real easy for just Patty and I with no heavy lifting. This is the fire pot. You see that little slot there in the flange? When you install this, it'll slide right in and then drop right into place. Real simple. To show you how easy this is, Patty's installing the fire pot. There it is, that's it. Just slip the burn tray in, you're good to go. That's all there is to it. The first time you fire up your grill, your auger tube is going to be empty. Good chance that the hot rod will time out before it gets to any pellets. So just throw a handful of pellets in here while you're putting it together and that'll guarantee a light up on the first time. Set the fire shield right over the fire pot and press it firmly back against the wall. All there is to it. You'll see a half moon cutout on the drip pan that goes on the right side of the grill above the firebox. There's a tab on the left side of the drip pan. Set that right on the flange on the left side of the wall. Then center the drip pan front and back into the grill there and you're good to go. Inside the hopper lid you'll find a wiring diagram your serial number, model number, and detailed instructions on how to fire up the grill and how to use it. Keep it simple. Ready for a first cook. This thing is huge and it is a tank. Looking good. Let's get with it. Our first cook on a sawtooth wood pellet grill. Cajun tri-tip. 